Now that you understand the basics of making a connection in a cloud-based connector such as Zapier, you can do educational marketing using webinar systems like Zoom and GoToWebinar. Now these are just two popular systems. You can actually use whichever webinar system connects to Zapier as well as connects your Zapier account to your MailChimp account. So for example, let's click Make a Zap. And if we connect this zap, what we're going to do first is we want to assume that the individuals that we want to do educational marketing with are already within our MailChimp account inside of a specific audience. And so what we're going to do is we're going to choose our MailChimp account. What we're then going to do is choose a trigger event. Now there are several different trigger events within MailChimp. There is when we start a new campaign. When we get a new subscriber, a newer updated subscriber, a new audience, a new subscriber within a segment or a tag, a new unsubscriber, a new customer, email opened, lick linked, or new order. So what we want to do is we want the trigger to be a new subscriber within a specific segment or tag. Now if we were to look within our audience, you'll notice that we have specific tags associated with specific individuals. So for example, you're going to see one tag being used for at least two people that are going to be within this specific audience. So when we undertake this process, we are going to want to make sure to use that specific tag that we have already set up inside of our MailChimp account. We're now going to click continue. We're now going to choose our MailChimp account. And we're going to click continue. What we're now going to do is choose that specific audience that we have been using and the one where we already have a specific tag. So we're going to go to that audience. We're going to go to the audience that we have chosen. And we're now going to look within our Zapier connection to make sure that we can find the specific tag within that specific audience. And so what happens is Zapier is now going to look within our account. They're going to look within that specific audience for that tag. And we are going to see the tag that we want. So now what we've said is that when an individual is tagged inside of MailChimp, we want that individual to then go through the next action because what we're trying to do is to have individuals that we are working with in MailChimp to be part of our educational marketing effort. So we're now going to click continue. What we can now do is test our trigger. We can now click continue. What we're now going to do is choose a specific action. And in this case, we are then going to want to make sure that we choose our webinar system. For the sake of this video, we are going to start with GoToWebinar. Now you'll notice that GoToWebinar is considered to be a premium selection. So that means then that you will need to have a paid account if you were to use GoToWebinar as part of this educational effort where you're using Zapier. We're going to click GoToWebinar. We're now going to select an action event. Now if you don't have a webinar set up, within GoToWebinar, you are going to want to go to GoToWebinar and set up your webinar before you get to this step. And it's here where we're going to set up our event for the future. And we are going to click Schedule to schedule the event. And now that our event is ready inside of GoToWebinar, we can now go to Zapier in order to make that connection. So we're going to choose our event. And what we want to have happen inside of GoToWebinar is we want to have a registrant created for a specific webinar. We're now going to click Continue. We're now going to set up the action. So we're going to now choose a specific webinar. And we're going to choose the webinar that we want to have people added to. What we're now going to do is we're going to write in the rest of the data. Now remember, when we're using Zapier, there are going to be fields that are required. 
And sometimes those fields are required by the connecting application. So in other words, what's likely happening is that GoToWebinar is requiring this connection to come with a first name, a last name, and an email. So what we're now going to do is click Continue. So what we have is we have a situation where when an individual is going to be within a specific list and they are tagged, they will then be added to our GoToWebinar. So what we don't have is a situation where just anyone that's part of a list will be added to a webinar. We're going to have it so that individuals within a list, when they're tagged, will then be added to our GoToWebinar. That means we can undertake the same process as long as we have a webinar set up within Zoom. So let's assume that we're going to set up this webinar within Zoom. And we now have a webinar within Zoom that we have titled MailChimp. What that now means is that we can create a Zap. And that means now that what we can do is we can connect our MailChimp account. We can then set our trigger event once again for a segment or a tag. We can then click continue. We can then choose our MailChimp account. We can then click continue. We can then set the trigger and the audience and the tag. We can then click continue. Now this time for the action, we're going to write in Zoom. We're then going to click Zoom. What we're then going to do is we're going to select an action event. And we want to create a webinar registrant. We then want to click Continue. We then want to select an upcoming webinar from within our Zoom account. And we see the one that we have created. We then want to get the required information. And what we've done is we've now made it so that when an individual is tagged, they'll now be added to our webinar inside of Zoom. Now you already have a direct connection inside of your MailChimp account so that your Eventbrite events will send individuals to specific lists inside of your MailChimp account. Now everyone from this site goes to a specific list inside of MailChimp, but you may want some flexibility in this process. So one way to create a more flexible situation is to click Make a Zap. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to start with the trigger as Eventbrite. So we're going to write in Eventbrite. And we want the trigger event to be that an individual has been registered with a specific event. We then want to click Continue. We then either want to choose the account that we have connected or we want to connect a specific account. So we're going to connect our Eventbrite account to our Zapier account. What we're now going to do is we're going to choose that account and then we're going to click continue. We're going to choose the organization within Eventbrite. We're going to choose a specific event. We're then going to click continue. We're then going to test our trigger. And what we want is the individuals for that specific event to be added to a specific list. And so we want to have that happen inside of MailChimp. So we now want to do is to have that individual added as a subscriber and then click continue. We then want to click continue. We want that individual added to a specific audience. And we want to collect their email address. And we want that individual to be tagged specifically. Now again, we are not extracting the tags, we are adding the tags in this process. We are now going to click Continue. What we can now do is add an individual who has now been tagged into a specific area inside of our wishlist member account. So basically what we're going to do is to add in a step. We're then going to add in wishlist member. We're going to have the individual added to a specific level. We're then going to click continue. We're now going to choose our wishlist member account. 
We're then going to click continue. We're then going to extract the email address and we can choose based on what we're setting up. We can either have the individual based on our MailChimp account, which is what we want. And then we're going to choose to have the individual added to a specific level. We're then going to click continue. And lastly, we can go on to have this individual added to our webinar. And all we'll need to do is to add in another step. And we'll add in our webinar system. And once we've set up the action, we can then click continue. And what we now have is a case where an individual is set up in Eventbrite. They're then added to our MailChimp list. They will then be added to wishlist member. And they will add it to an educational webinar. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another process.